Nearly two-thirds of teachers say they're uncomfortable teaching the new computing curriculum introduced this term. But with a boom in tech jobs predicted, learning how computers work is key. Now one Shoreditch-based gaming studio has stepped in to help students and teachers with the basic principles of coding. Mark Ashdown went to watch. Computer technology has moved on a bit since I was a boy. All right, it wasn't that long ago, but now five-year-olds are going to be learning how to make these things work. Uh, it's just a case of using this software and it compresses. Children from various schools of various ages in East London to see coding firsthand. The new computing curriculum expects them to learn this. When you just play games, people don't really think about how they're built and stuff. I think girls would be interested. You? Yeah. Yeah, yeah as a job? Maybe. Filling jobs is a problem. It's predicted the country needs 750,000 tech workers by 2017. Last year, there were only 50,000 computer science graduates. It should be the fourth core science. You have physics, chemistry and biology. Computer science should be there. It's in the DNA of everything that exists right now. Everything we use, every machine has computer science at its core. So it's about time perhaps it was on the curriculum, but teaching it could be an issue. A recent survey found 60% of teachers say they're not confident on the subject. That is a reflection of my school. Um, but then obviously you do have people that are interested and that would actually learn, would love, obviously love to learn. But then obviously he's thinking about how do they actually get into it? How do they actually get that training? I'd see this much more in terms of evolution than revolution. I don't think teachers should be too daunted by the expectations of the new curriculum. Yes, it's drawing on subject knowledge which they themselves perhaps didn't acquire whilst at school themselves or during their teacher training. But this is well inside their capabilities. And how about this for a resource? Next month, the Queen will open a major new permanent gallery at the Science Museum dedicated to the history and future of all things computer. Young people are really computer savvy and they really, they're incredibly engaged with it. It's the second language to them to understand how to engage with computers. But I think it's, it's all that language and that process that's happening behind the scenes that they're very unaware of. Ready or not then, computers are set to play a much bigger role in school life. The future of technology in this country it's kind of depending on them being a success. Mark Ashdown, BBC London News.